Did you know that across the nation, 122,000 children are waiting to be adopted? And that in the Commonwealth of Virginia, 700 foster children are waiting for adoptive families? November is National Adoption Awareness Month, and with us to talk about adoption and foster care in Fairfax County is Jessica Moser from the Department of Family Services. Jessica, welcome to County Magazine. Thanks for having me. Sure, so first let's start with what's the difference between foster care and adoption? Well, foster care is really designed to be a temporary solution for children and youth. So when a child comes into foster care, they'll be placed with a foster family, but the idea is that they can return to their biological family or previous legal guardian as quickly and as safely as possible. We only move into adoption once it's become clear that that child cannot safely return to their biological home. So adoption then is focused on the long term, um, to have the child exit foster care and remain with a family for the rest of their life. So why is it important that foster kids end up with a forever family? Well, as you can imagine, it's very important for these children to be able to feel connected to a family, to have that level of permanency and stability and safety in their life. It also just provides normalcy for a child. Um, when a child is adopted out of foster care, they no longer have to be involved with the foster care system, and it allows them to carry on in the family like any other child in the community. Um, and lastly, it just provides a safe and secure space for that child to form secure attachments, for them to grow their sense of self and identity, and feel connected to a family for the rest of their life. So how does the Department of Family Services help prospective adoptive families who would like to foster or adopt a child? Absolutely, if a family is interested in becoming a foster or adoptive family, um, they can contact us and we'll start with a brief orientation of what it means to be a foster and adoptive parent. And then if we decide to continue on, we'll provide them certification. Fairfax County dual certifies all of our families as foster and adoptive families. And through that process, we'll also provide extensive training both while you're preparing to bring children into your home and then as you continue as a foster parent and potentially an adoptive parent. And then when a child is placed in your home, we have case managers and support workers who will help carry you through that process. We'll help set up supportive services, things like transportation, therapy, secure funding for certain things that those children need. And then should your case go to the point of adoption, you'll be assigned an adoption specialist who will carry you and the child through the adoption process until it finalizes in the court system. And then even after it finalizes, we have a post-adoption team who remain there as, a, as needed support until that child is 18. Wow, that's, fant that's a fantastic continuum of, of services you guys offer. Mm -hmm. We'll ask Jessica how Fairfax County residents can get involved with foster care and adoption in a minute. But first, this important safety message from the Fairfax County Fire and Rescue Department. I'm back with Jessica Moser from the Department of Family Services, and we're talking about National Adoption Awareness Month in Fairfax County. Jessica, what are some of the biggest hurdles for prospective adoptive parents? Well, I think when parents are considering adopting a child out of foster care, there can be a lot of fear of the unknown. You know, how will that child adapt into our home? And um, what challenges are unique and specific to adopting children out of foster care? How can we help that child manage their relationship with their biological family? And so that's where we come in to try and provide support as adoption specialists and post-adoption specialists. And then what a lot of people don't actually realize is many of our adoptive families are kinship families, meaning their aunts, uncles, cousins, grandparents that have stepped in to adopt their relatives out of foster care. And so that can also bring up questions of how is this gonna change the dynamic within my greater family? But we also provide training in that area as well, or connect families to local resources and other adoption specialists and agencies that can help coach you through some of those fears. And what about hurdles for the adoptive kids? Mm -hmm. Well, one of the biggest hurdles is particularly for our older youth, um, our teenagers, and our children who are high needs. Really what we need is more families who are open and willing to bring these children into their home. Um, and then 
as a child is adopted out of foster care, there's a lot of questions around their tied loyalty both to their, their family of origin and their adoptive family and how to manage those complex relationships. And so we encourage our adoptive families as much as possible to help and coach our children through understanding their role and their expansion of their family tree so that they can manage those complex relationships. I see. So how is Fairfax County recognizing and celebrating Adoption Awareness Month? Well, we love to take this month to spotlight and celebrate our adoptive families. So if you go onto our website, you will find um, stories and videos from our adoptive families that you can hear from them firsthand what their experiences have been. We also share adoption stories and statistics through our social media avenues. And then lastly, we're providing our adoptive families with additional trainings this month around complex issues like transracial adoption and those kinds of things. That sounds like a great place to start. Jessica, thank you very much for coming on the show and sharing your expertise about adoption and foster care. Thanks for having me.